Hey guys, it's me, and in today's video I want to show you guys how I apply and remove gel nail polish. First, what you'll need for removing your gel nail polish or manicure is going to be a professional acetone. This is professional soak off and it works for all gel and I think acrylic nails as well. It is actually coconut scented and I got this off of Amazon for pretty cheap. I'll leave all the links to all these products below this video if you're interested. Next, you'll need some cotton balls, or actually one cotton ball works for all 10 fingers. I just grabbed a handful for some reason to show you a handful of cotton balls apparently. Then you'll need some tin foil, which you will actually be cutting up into sections, which I will show you in a second. Then you'll also need something to scrape away the nail polish. This is just a nail tool that I got off of Amazon as well. Last but not least for your removal, you'll need some type of buffer or file to kind of rough up the top coat and then also for your application. Now back to the tin foil, you're going to kind of cut it up into sections. You can use scissors, but honestly, if you just fold them into little rectangles and then tear them at their fold, it tears pretty easily and pretty smoothly. And you're gonna wanna just do about 10 of those. If you're like me though, I like to do extras in advance and then just have those in my drawer so I can pull them out and avoid this step the next time around. But basically, you'll just wanna again, fold them up into rectangles and then tear them apart into smaller rectangle pieces. After you're done ripping apart your tin foil, you're going to move on to your cotton ball and you're just going to need one and you just rip it apart into 10 different pieces. These little pieces will sit on top of your nail bed so they don't have to be huge, they just have to be big enough to cover your nails and again, one cotton ball usually does both hands for me. Next, taking your acetone and just a small dish. I'm using a lid from a candle. I know it sounds silly, but I didn't want to like ruin anything nice. You're gonna pour a little bit of that acetone into your container. I would suggest doing less than more just because acetone evaporates very quickly when out of its bottle, so you don't want to waste it or have it go to waste. But you'll just want to be careful also not to spill anything. I spilled a little bit on my dresser or my vanity, but because it's glass, it's not that big of a deal. But if you're working with acetone, you want to avoid your carpet, you want to avoid tablecloths, and you want to definitely avoid wood. So first thing when removing your gel nail polish, you're going to take your nail file and you're going to file the top of the nails. So you're going to basically just buff out or just rough up the top coat of your nail polish. This is going to help so that way the acetone can sink in and seep in through the nail polish a little bit faster and a little bit better so it can break it apart and lift it off of your nails. After that, take one of your pieces of your cotton ball and dip it into your acetone. It'll soak up pretty quickly and then squeeze out just some of the excess so it's not dripping, sopping wet. Stick that onto your nail bed and then make sure to avoid kind of your cuticles and your skin and just make sure it's just on the nail bed itself. And then take your foil and just wrap it around the cotton ball and your nail bed, making sure that the cotton stays in place. This is gonna help conduct some heat, which is gonna help the acetone kind of sink in a little bit faster down to the bottom layer so that it lifts it faster. Then continue doing that to the rest of your nails. And I like to do one hand at a time just because it's really hard to wrap nail polish and foils onto one hand when you have nail polish and foil on the other hand. So I usually like to just put on a TV show at this point and just kind of do one hand at a time. After you're done wrapping one hand of your nails or even all of your nails, depending on if you have help doing it or not, I like to let them sit for about 15 minutes. Sometimes because I do put my nail polish on pretty thick or because it's not been on long enough and it just is really adhered to my nails, I have to let it sit for an extra 10 minutes. So again, it just depends on your nails, how dry they are, how well the gel polish adheres to it and how long you've had it on and also how thick you've applied the polish. But sometimes you will have to just test one nail at a time and keep those wraps on a little bit longer or reapply them. So after you've waited about 10 to 15 minutes, you can start taking off your nail wraps. Your nail polish should be kind of lifting on its own. That's a good indicator that it's ready to be removed. So I'm gonna remove a few of them and try to take off some of this nail polish. Using my nail tool, I'm gonna go in and I'm just going to very gently push away the nail polish. The nail polish should very easily push off of the nail. You 
you should not have to scrape it you should not have to force it if you have to force it or scrape it very hard or if it's a little bit difficult to come off then stop what you're doing and put your nail wraps back on for a little bit as you can see I'm barely applying any pressure and it's just kind of sliding off and that's how it should come off you do not want to be scraping at your nails because that will damage them there's nothing wrong with leaving the acetone on for a little bit longer after you're done scraping off the nail polish, you're going to take a cotton ball and dip it into your acetone and you're just going to wipe your fingers to get any residual nail polish off. So now that you have the gel nail polish removed, I'm going to show you how I apply my gel nail polish. So starting off, I'm going to take that buffer slash filer that I had earlier and I'm just going to buff very, very lightly my nail beds. This is just going to help the polish adhere a little bit better. Some people like to use a pH polish to kind of dehydrate the nails a little bit to do this. I honestly just don't mind buffing my nails a little bit. Again, I do it very, very lightly because I don't want to file away my nail bed. After that, I take my nail tool again. I use the wider end of it and then I use it to push back my cuticles and also kind of to scrape off any, you know, I don't know, excess skin that kind of sticks to the nail bed at the bottom where the cuticle gets pushed back. I want to push back my cuticles because I don't want any extra nail growth to happen faster than it needs to. So I'm going to push those back and then I'm going to start polishing. So the polishes I'm going to be using today are by Madame Glam. These have been my favorite gel polishes. They are five free which I really really like and I like that all of their colored polishes come with the color on top of the bottle. And then to cure my gel nails I'm going to use this LED lamp or light or whatever you call it by Melody Susie. I got it from Amazon as well. So first taking my Madame Glam base gel, I'm going to just apply a very, very thin layer onto every single one of my nails. I like to do one hand at a time because I want to be very quick with my layers. I want to do a thin layer, cure it, thin layer, cure it, thin layer, cure it. If you take too long between cures, you have the issue with your gel kind of receding from the tips of your nails or you have the issue with clumping or dripping or things like that. So you want to do thin layers very, very quickly. So again, I suggest doing one hand at a time. After you're done with that first base coat, you're going to stick your hand into your lamp and then I'm going to hit the 30 seconds. It depends on what your nail polish says in regards to how long you cure. These polishes say that it takes about 30 seconds with an LED light. There's a difference between UV lamps and LED lights, so you're going to want to make sure to read the directions on whatever nail polish you're using because they are all different and they all take different times and also different lamps. So again, be very, very careful and make sure to look for what directions are on your bottle. After I've cured my base coat for 30 seconds, I'm going to grab my polish, which I'm going to use the Madame Glam polish in baby pink. It's a very, very pretty just baby pink color. And I'm going to put a thin layer, once again, a very thin layer on every single one of my nails. Now you'll notice that this is not opaque for first coat, so I am actually going to do three coats all together. In between every single coat, I am going to make sure to put my nails underneath the lights and cure them for 30 seconds. So far, out of all the Madame Glam polishes I have tried, this is the only color that I have found that needs three coats. All the other ones I can get away with doing one or two coats, but this is, I think because it's such a light pink, needs three coats on my nails. After you've applied your last coat of polish and let it cure for 30 seconds, you're going to apply your top coat. You're going to put this on in a very thin layer, just like all the other layers, and then let it cure for 30 seconds. I like to cure mine for actually 60 seconds just to be on the safe side. It's probably overkill, but that's just me. And again, pay attention to the directions on your bottle of nail polish though. They all have different times and they're all different. Then after your top coat has been cured, you're going to take an alcohol wipe, which I got these from Target in a box. They're really, really affordable, very cheap, and they come in handy for other things around the house as well. And you're just going to take that alcohol wipe and gently wipe away any of the sticky residue from the nails. And then after that, you're done and your nails are dry. That's the great thing about gel nails is it may take a while to do them, but your end result is gorgeous and they're immediately cured and they're immediately dry so you can go about the rest of your day. 
Because this process with the acetone can be very dehydrating for your hands and nails, I highly suggest you use a lotion or cuticle gel nail after you do your nails. You can't do it before because you don't want to have that grease on your nail beds before you put your polish on. But again, it's great to use afterwards just so that you can re-moisturize your nail beds and your cuticles and your hands. So there you have it. There is my tutorial on how to apply and remove gel manicures at home by yourself. Thank you guys for the video suggestion. I love getting your video suggestions because it makes my job that much easier. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions. I will leave all the links to all the products mentioned in this video underneath in the info box. Again, I do have a coupon code for Madam Glam Polishes for 30% off your entire purchase. I absolutely love their polishes. They are amazing guys. They are five free and they stay on forever. But thanks again for the video suggestion and I will see you guys all in my next video whenever that may be. Bye guys!